Hello. We start our first course with explanation of radio frequency. What is radio frequency? It's an any of electromagnetic wave frequencies that lie in the range starting from 3 kHz to 300 GHz. As you see, it's a very vast range and it starts from a intermediate frequency going to a very high frequency. What is the purpose of radio frequency signal? We use this signal or waves for wireless broadcasting or communication. So we use devices like transmitter receivers which has antennas attached to them to send the signals out into space on the, in the air. And we have our data in, in the signals and we want to broadcast this data and communicate. We can make an example of devices which are working with radio frequency waves like radio, television, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, our phone and ra it can be radar, aerospace applications, plane and everything nowadays is working with radio frequency system. So we can show a radio frequency system like this. We have two systems here and they are trying to talk with each other. So one of them sends wave and the other one sends at the same time so they are trying to talk to each other. Sometimes this system can only send the signal and this system can only receive it. But sometimes both systems can send and receive signal at the same time. So this is how radio frequency system works. We have to know two things about this system. First one, as you see here, these signals which are sent from these two systems are working or operating in radio frequency. So we are dealing with radio frequency signals and the second important thing we know here is we have to know these two systems are not connected physically so our system is wireless The RF spectrum is divided into several ranges or bands. With the exception of lowest frequency segment, each band represents an increase of frequency corresponding to an order of magnitude. So we can show this with this table as you see here. It starts from very low frequency as you see, 9 kHz, it's going to very high frequency 300 GHz. And we can divide these frequencies into groups, starting from very low frequency going to high frequency and and finally is extremely ex extremely high frequency there's other part here which explains the wavelengths before discussing this part we are going to talk about wavelengths imagine that there's a water and you tap this water in the middle so here you're producing waves and they're traveling If we want to see from side section, the waves are like this. And we can say that our wavelength is length between two peaks of our wave. So we can show it with meters, maybe. Because it's length. And here, for example, I can show my wavelength between two peaks of water wave. We show wavelengths with lambda. Now we are going to explain the relationship between wavelengths and frequency. As you see here, if we increase our frequency, our wavelengths decreases. So the wavelengths is proportional to inverse of our frequency. If we assume that this is F1, the frequency of this wave, and the frequency of the second wave is F2, and if we want to write the lambda 1, this is lambda 1 and this is lambda 2, we say F2, F1 is higher than F2, so lambda 2 is higher than lambda 1. 
It's exactly inverse of that. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rasoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The RF basic concepts and fundamentals course is provided free at our website. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, RASAF would provide the RASAF radio frequency certificate. The topics are chosen with advice from RF engineers in top industry companies like Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom and Skyworks who are missing candidates with these skills.